Okay, once again, we are here. Amen. And once again, Amen. it's Wednesday. Okay. And Wednesday is for our Bible studies. Yes. Yeah. And this time, we welcome you, our listeners, especially those listening to us from phones, Facebook, YouTube, Zoom, and any other place you are witnessing our evening Bible studies. We welcome you, and as usual, I have with me Pastor Mercy, Amen. and also Pastor Mary. Praise the Lord. And I'm your host, Pastor Samuel. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And this evening, we won't waste much time. Or we just put all the time into it and all for Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are, I encourage you to get your pen, paper, and especially your Bible, so that there are certain things you might need to read with us, or you have to note them, so that later on you can, on your own, get into it and know much about what God wants you to Amen. know in his word. Yes, we're coming to you live from Virginia, United States of America, Dumfries City. And we will start from here. I guess you are very fresh with our procedure that every Wednesday is our Bible studies day. And what we do on Wednesdays, uh, you know, we go through whatever we ministered on the previous Sunday. We have our understanding that in course of the ministration, it's not nice, or you can't just do that to say, preacher, you are saying this here, and I don't understand. Can you explain it to me? However, maybe that is true to you. You don't understand. That is the more and more reason why we've set aside Wednesdays for our Bible studies, so that we go into the Bible, take our time, read the scriptures, relate the scriptures, interpret it one to the other so that at least we will all be on the same page and also along the way we permit listeners to contribute if they like and so the numbers are all there and this is it our main interest and the reason we do this is for bible to come to your level Amen. so that there won't be any cause for i mean doubt or be left behind in means of explanation. Mm. So, our subject this evening is basing on the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And we got to the aspect or the area of spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. Spiritual gifts. And so, just to take off, as usual, we will start from Pastor Mercy. And Pastor Mercy, I believe you would like to take us through the definition, because we have to define what is spiritual gift. And if you want my, uh, I would like us to dwell on where we are zooming ourselves to, okay. so that we get what is spiritual gift, and then we start from there. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Pastor. And viewers, you're all welcome. Do you hear Amen. Her? Hallelujah. Can you put, okay, okay, amen. All right, so um, Sunday we had the subject spiritual gifts. Mm. Already we've been dealing with Holy Spirit. Yeah. Spirit. So the spiritual gift is the gift from the Holy Spirit. Good. So, I mean, that is the, the definition that was given was it's an extraordinary endowment graced by the Holy Spirit to a believer so the church will be edified and the purpose of God on earth will be accomplished. That's Amen. the definition that I had. I wrote. Amen. 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 And in other words, it's a spiritual ability mm -hmm. given by the Holy Spirit to help one another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spiritual ability given by the Holy Spirit. Don't mistake in it because when we say spirit, we have other spirits. Mm -hmm. So this gift are the gifts given by the Holy Spirit. The third uh, person of God. 
God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So, and as previous Bible studies, we said that he is the God of our day. He yeah. is God. Mm. So, he gives ability. Amen. 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 And then we had a, we cited an example starting from creation where he was there when the world was created. Heaven and earth was created in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. I think we've been reading these scriptures a lot. Hallelujah. Amen. And then it says, um, and then so there, during creation, his presence was there. So he's not, or the Holy Spirit is not any stranger or something that is new in the system. He has been there before creation. Thank you. I would like you to limit yourself to the definition. Okay. And then we will come back to All you. All right. Trust me, I will be back to you. Amen. Pastor Mary, tell me. What the subject we are going to deal with this evening, your definition or the definition of it, so that we get the base to work around, please. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We give glory to God. We take and it so, for Jesus. Amen. Sunday, the theme for the message that came was spiritual gifts. And as you said, the test was taken from 1 Corinthians 12. 20 and it says that but now indeed there are many members yet one body so the spiritual gift was made us we were made to understand that is an extraordinary empowerment or endowment that the holy spirit gives to the believers or the holy spirit graces the believer for the accomplishment of the lord's calling yeah and the education of the ministry. Wow. And so the ministry is what? The body of Christ. And so this is the Holy Spirit giving us grace to do his work. He's giving us grace to stay in the Lord. He's giving us grace to even come to the Lord. So these are gifts because salvation is also a gift. So it's an extraordinary because... It's not common. It's not everybody that have the chance. It's for everyone, but it's, it's, uh, it, you are privileged to come into it. So it's an extraordinary beyond human imagination. That is why we call it supernatural. So that is an empowerment. And it is a grace. And as soon as you have, you believe. When you say believer, then we go to who is a believer. The one that has accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. So if you have accepted Christ, you are a believer, and therefore you have the Holy Spirit. And for that matter, the Holy Spirit residing in you gives you this ability to operate in every area of your life, in every sphere of your life. So that is what I understand by this. So and it this is for the body of Christ. Is for those in the mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. The Lord. And it is a grace, it's a gift. Mm -hmm. According to Ephesians also, he said, least no any man should, should boast. boast. Mm -hmm. It's a gift God has given to us mm -hmm. whom have come to his son mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, we read the text that brought the whole subject around. And our content and the whole chapter we are reading or depending on to do these studies is on the First Corinthians chapter number 12. And chapter number 12 are all have about 31 verses. Mm -hmm. But we could read them in one summarize in chapter 20. 12, and I read for you, it says, First Corinthians 12, 20. It says, but now indeed, there are many members, yet one body. body. Yes. So we're going to talk about this. Many members yet one body. So we have many members and yet one body. That is the word. That is many members, one body, and this spirit, which I believe very well now, we all agree with me that the Holy Spirit, Holy spirit. which is also the spirit of God, has given these members and yet one body a gift or gifts. How do you relate this Many members, yet 
one body. Can you explain that? Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, as the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 12, 20, it says, but we are indeed many members, yet one body. Many members means that there are pieces. We are a lot of pieces together. So that means it's not a, it's not a whole, something whole that is not division. There are pieces here and there. And also some pieces are large, some are insignificant, some are significant, some are feeble. That is what the Bible says. That means it's a lot of people together that makes it whole. Mm. And Bible says, I mean, compare it to our personal body. Okay. It says our body, we have the arms, we have the, uh, the legs, we have the ears and everything. I was thinking about this arm, the right hand, arm and the left arm. If you switch it, if you swipe it, you bring the right ear, you bring the left ear, it's not, it's not, it's no. not it doesn't fit. No. <laughs> so even though their hands they have fingers and mm. everything looks the same, it's still different. But all work together. So he says we have many different, we are different. Not d different in our uh, performance. Different in our sizes. Di different in our way of doing things. And yet, when, uh, when A is different, we begin to do something, B begin to do, C begin to do. When you put all together, it becomes complete. It's like a puzzle, mm. puzzle pieces mm. that we put together to make a whole and bring the picture. So that is what I understand by many members and yet, yet one, one body. body. Yes, Amen. Pastor Mary, many members, yet one body. Help me, and if you will add to yours to what Pastor Mer Mercy said, mm -hmm. don't forget that many members, one body, and somebody has graced this many members yet being one body mm -hmm. and that person is the holy spirit yes and whose body is this amen amen so to add to what pastor mercy said i would take it that um this is the triune the trinity we see that it says three in one yeah just god the father god the son god the holy spirit they are three but they are one and so and they have different functional ability or anytime everybody has where he functions. So we see that God and Jesus, God created and the Holy Spirit came and hoovered and Jesus Christ was also with, with them creating the universe. And at this point in time, Jesus came on earth to be delivered, walk in person, left and brought the Holy Spirit now with us. So these are many, three of them, but they are working the same issue to bring mankind to so Christ. They are one body. So they are one body. And he, the Holy Spirit, is the one is the one or God is the one that has created all the members as Christians in every area, spheres, and has put us as a church, one body in Christ. Yeah. I will add and, this to it. You say one body means Jesus Christ mm -hmm. is the main body. body. So when we say the church, the church could be a whole lot of churches on earth, but they are one body mm -hmm. of Christ. Right. Just like God was one, mm -hmm. and yet I in, in three parts. Mm -hmm. God is one, and yet I in three parts. We mm -hmm. call uh, mm -hmm. triune, trinity, or what the we triune. say. But yet we say they are one. God is one. God is yes. But the Holy Spirit has his work. Jesus has his work. Right. And then God the is Father. the head, which is the Father. Mm -hmm. But we don't separate them, yet they are one. Mm -hmm. Except in functions. Sometimes when God wanted man to come and die so that he gets blood to pacify or to atone, atone and redeem man's mankind. sin or mm -hmm. mankind, Jesus has to become flesh. According to John 1.14. Mm -hmm. And dwell among yes. us on earth. Mm -hmm. And that is where he was crucified. And his blood was shed on the cross. Mm -hmm. For our redemption. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Though it was the same God. But in actual understanding. It was Jesus that died on the cross. Amen. We don't say it was the Holy Spirit that died on no. the cross. 
the same way at a point in time it was the holy spirit that moved over the 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 the, 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 the surface, of, surface the of the creation mm. we didn't say jesus over over the surface of the creation yet they were the same one god so this is how it goes so here the teachings is also saying that many members mm -hmm. that is parts mm -hmm. yet one, one body and the example is relating to as even human beings. Mm -hmm. Like you called me Pastor Samuel. I have head. My head is just a member of my body. Mm -hmm. My eye is just a member of my body. Mm -hmm. My hand is just a member of my body. Yes. My, uh, my uh, fingers are just a member of my body. Mm -hmm. Foot and the rest are all members of my body. And one support the other yes. right. to make this body of Samuel function orderly mm -hmm. or complete. Mm -hmm. That is what the Bible is talking about. So it is the same thing. How do we relate many members and yet one body? If you come to the church mm -hmm. on earth, for example, can, can you elaborate that? Yeah. Jesus said he is the head mm -hmm. and the member, the, I mean, believers are the body. body. Yeah. So he the head, he is the leader. He directs, he ordinates, he ordains, he, he has a purpose and a principle. And that purpose and principle comes from him and he gives it around. So in him, when he, he is leading, there is no utter confusion mm. because he, whatever he tells his members to do, they all do it to come together to bring the purpose to come to pass. Okay. So that is he, he being the head and we are. So every information comes from him. Okay. That is why he said that when he goes, he will send the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will take from him and give it to us and take from us and give it to him. Okay. Amen. Amen. Let, let me come there. Amen. You want to talk or I can move on. Now, let's relate this many members mm -hmm. and yet one body mm -hmm. and listeners don't forget that this many members that becomes one body is what god have sent his holy spirit into mm -hmm. and the holy spirit is the third person of god, god yes. and it is the holy spirit that makes us see god like when jesus was alive and once upon a time according to john 6 mm -hmm. when they were arguing with him that you just 20 plus year old boy, 30 yeah. years old boy. Why do you say that you are God? Do you, do you know even when our Papa Abraham and the rest? Right. And Jesus said, if you even don't believe I am God, look at the works that, that I am do. doing. Mm. So, so the Holy Spirit was what came to replace Jesus mm -hmm. after he uh, ascended. ascended. After Jesus ascended, it was the Holy Spirit that came to replace. And it was the same spirit that we were talking about uh, in, in, in Genesis and the rest. So, let's now zoom the subject to the Holy Spirit in relation to our previous teachings. How he worked in, in, in the beginning. And how he worked in dispensation. And how some areas the Holy Spirit has worked so All that right. we see him that he is the same person who is putting the whole thing together. All right. So um, when we come to the dispensation uh, after creation, when uh, man sinned, Bible said God drove man away, but he gave them a covering. And when man went that way, that was where man has to um, survive, find something to do to make living. And Bible said when man was going, moving, run and run and run, and was doing all that things that he has to do, the Holy Spirit never left man alone. But in point in time, he will come upon man, someone like Elijah, the Holy Spirit will come upon him and use him to perform the purpose of God during that time, to make the purpose of God fulfilled during the time that the dispensation that he found himself. And he did that also with Moses. Mm -hmm. He used Moses. He came upon Moses. 
and used Moses to bring the purpose of God to come to pass. At that time, what was the purpose of God? God has purpose to deliver the, Egypt, the uh, Israelites. Israelites, the Hebrews from Egypt to the promised land as he promised Abraham. So he used Moses to bring them to the promised land, what he has purpose. So at the any given time, it is the Holy Spirit who is the force, the workforce. He bring the purpose of God to come to pass. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Pastor Mary, help Amen. us uh, in relation with the things the Holy Spirit has done mm -hmm. of knitting the works of God together Amen. as an evidence that this thing, even though we don't see God on earth doing it, but with this clear evidence, starting or narrating from here to here, you can tell that the, the hand of God is in this. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we go back to Genesis and Genesis 3.15, where he says the seed of the woman uh, will be enmity. There will be enmity between the seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent. So that pronunciation was there. And coming to Luke chapter 1, verse, uh, Luke 1, I think we should read Luke 1, 35. Let's open our Bibles because we are having Bible studies. Luke 1, 35. We saw the Holy Spirit from the beginning. And then he said there will be enmity between the man and the serpent. And man was struggling like Pastor Messi was saying. So Luke 1, 35, he says that, And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Amen. 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 And so this is the work of the Holy Spirit. God brought him in, I said, when there was chaos and void in the creation from the beginning. And when he hovered over the waters, it separated from the earth, from the waters. And then everything was created through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, don't forget, during the time of uh, the judges, I mean, the prophecy, Joel also prophesied that. And afterwards, after these things, the, he will pour out his Holy Spirit upon all flesh. So every time God was still trying to bring man back unto himself when he sinned. And he used Abraham. He called Abraham and said, I'll make a nation out of you. And so all along the Holy Spirit was in operation through the judges, Samson, Gideon, uh, uh, Daniel, and Abraham himself. He used the Holy Spirit to visit them, direct them, and lead them in all the ways. But it wasn't pleasing God until, in Luke, as we read, he came back on Mary and said, don't be afraid. The Holy Spirit will overshadow you and empower you, and you bring forth the Son. So the seed came back on earth and then started its work as of Jesus Christ until he departed and came back in the power of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. So we see the uh, Holy Spirit at work in this era. Okay. Amen. So when, that, let's say Jesus Christ was the body, mm -hmm. and now he is the body. Mm -hmm. He moved on earth, he ministered, and all the works he was doing, meaning that that time the Holy Spirit of God, he was the Holy Spirit of God himself, yes. and it was in him, and he was so Jesus was 100% Holy Spirit mm -hmm. as well as God. having a human body mm -hmm. and therefore the nature of God on earth. Amen. This is it, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because Mary has brought him forth. Yes. That is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So all the miracles and signs and wonders he did, Acts testify about it. Let's, let, 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 let's, let's read from the book of Acts. Chapter 10, verses 35. Acts testify about who Jesus did all he did with. Or all that Jesus did, there, there, there was someone behind. 
and that Amen. was the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, Amen. if we get it here, Acts 10.38, Acts 10.38, okay. 10, I would like to read for you. It says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with, with him. him. Amen. Amen. So God was with him there means the spirit of God, mm -hmm. which in the beginning was with him. Was so with he, him. the spirit of God here makes Jesus the very nature of God. And the spirit of God is the one third person of the triune the third, God. The third person. I mean, excuse me, third person of the triune God. God. Amen. And all these miracles Jesus did were we all knew where once upon the time he walked on the water and uh, how he set the blind to see the cripples will walk yes. at the command of Jesus. Things were happening. Mm -hmm. So Bible is saying here that God was with him means the Holy Spirit was working wonders through Jesus Christ. Amen. And also how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth here also means that he was endowed. Hmm. He was endowed with, with the spirit of God. Amen. That is the anointing. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell you here that God being the whole body, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Son, the Father, the, the Father they were doing these miracles. And yet, one does things refer to the other. Yes. They were all in relation. Yes. And now Jesus came in person continuing this very work of God. So from here, whatever you want to see about God was seen through Jesus. Jesus. And we all By knew, the power of yes, the Holy and we all knew at a point in time, Jesus was taken into heaven after his death and he resurrected. The Bible says he ascended. Now let's see when, when we had this power to continue it. But it didn't come to us straight away. Though it was a gift, but it didn't start it from us. It didn't start from us. Let's read from the uh, book of uh, Acts. Acts 1.38. No, Acts 1.8. Excuse eight. me, Acts 1.8. Okay. Let's read from 4. Okay. From 4 to 8. You want us to read from Acts 1.4 to 8. Four to eight. Mm -hmm. from Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It says, and being assembled together with them, mm -hmm. he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me. Mm -hmm. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know these, to, for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put into his own authority. But you shall receive power Eight. when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Amen. Okay. Amen. So now, the you, earth. Acts 1, 8, mm -hmm. I repeat, though she added more to better our understanding, mm -hmm. but verse 8 says, but you shall receive power mm -hmm. when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, Amen. and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end, end of, of the, the earth. earth. Amen. So, so to start with, to start with, what is this Holy Spirit? What is this Holy Spirit? And was to whom? Let, let's first of all deal with this. You understand me? Mm -hmm. What is this Holy Spirit? And was to whom? Okay. This power. All right. What was it? So here? this Holy Spirit is still the third person of God. Mm -hmm. The God, the, the God, the Holy Spirit, the one that was conceived, that Mary conceived him, he said, the Holy Spirit shall come upon you. So this Holy Spirit is still God. 
the third person of God. Yeah. And he says that he will come upon you, my believers. Mm -hmm. Those disciples, those of you who have followed me, and now I died, I resurrected, and you are still with me. I'm leaving. I'm going back to where I came from. But when I go, he will come. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will come. And when he come, he will come upon you. And by even Jesus said before that he will come and dwell in you. But in some way, John, he said, he is with you, but he will be in you. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. So when Jesus was up and down, he is the Holy Spirit, as pastor was saying. He is. So he was with them going back and forth. But Jesus said, now that I am going back to where I came from, the Holy Spirit is coming to be in you, inside of you. Okay. Amen. So, so inside of the disciples. Yeah. So, I mean, thank you for mm -hmm. your side. So, Pastor Mary, did they buy this Holy Spirit or what is it? Hallelujah. Amen. So, let's open to Joel chapter 2, verse 28. Joel 2, 28. And I will answer... From there, Joel chapter 2, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I read the New King James. It says that, And it shall come to pass afterwards mm -hmm. that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Mm -hmm. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servant and my maid servant, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Okay. This is a prophecy by the prophet Joel. So he said, this is what the Lord is saying. The Lord used him to prophesy that come afterwards, after many days, after so long. Now, why, it, why didn't it come back before then until on the day of Pentecost where we are reading? It is because man wasn't pleasing God until his son came and died and shed his blood as an atonement. He wouldn't have given it. So this was a prophecy that is a promise unto his children. Jesus. And so the promise was being worked on to be fulfilled until Christ came, died, and resurrected. So he said, I'm going. Now the promise that was said in Joel... It's about to come. Mm. But don't go anywhere. Just go and wait until you receive the power. Yeah. Now, as at that time, God has only called the Israelites as his people. Mm -hmm. Only one nation. But here he's saying that our poor. Now, let's look at the word poor. It's not fetching or sprinkling or spooning, taking it out a little bit at a time. He says, I'm going to pour. Look at a bowl full of porridge or water or like soup. And he said, I'm going to pour. That means pour. So they should go and wait. It's coming. So this was going to be poured on all flesh. And who, who is the flesh? It's those that have believed. Now before then, it was just the Israelite. But this time, so we see that during the dispensation, we will only visit one person, use him like in the judges. And then he will go, use him, and will go. But now he says, after many days, which was fulfilled in Acts chapter 2, verse 17, after this one was poured, Paul stood up and quoted this very scripture, that what this is the promise unto the, uh, Peter, Peter, to use it unto what? The people of God or the believers. Yeah. So as long as they were assembled in the upper room, the promise that was prophesied in Joel came to pass. So it means, so it, it you've answered me. I mm. like your answer. Mm -hmm. Yet I want some more. Mm -hmm. You mean it's a, it's a promise. It's a promise. It's a okay. promise on it. Mm -hmm. In other words, someone has paid for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if it is a promise and mm -hmm. someone has paid for it, then in actual sense, we can call it grace. Yes, yes. that it's is why grace. it's a gift. It's a, a gift. gift. Mm -hmm. This is what we want to establish to mm -hmm. our listeners. Mm -hmm. It is a gift. gift. You see, let me tell you something. These days, we've been hearing here and there. Um, and this man has gone for this spirit. This man has done this. It is very true. 
Don't deny them. Mm. Excuse me, it's only a fool who denies spiritism. Spirits are rare. They are true. Mm -hmm. So they get them. But then it, they, they make a cost mm -hmm. to receive those things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, you have to send something, mm -hmm. your own part body. Sometimes it could be maybe a person or they can demand sheep or some or ten sort of that. You understand me? Mm -hmm. But here, Jesus' gift, which is the Holy Spirit that is given to us, is free because he promised, God promised in the book of Joel as we read, and yet God couldn't give it because that time someone have to pay for it. Right. Yes. As he promised or he prophesied in Genesis 3, 15, yes. that the, the seed of the woman mm. will bruise the head of the Seven. serpent. So Jesus have to be born and live and shed his blood. Amen. So that blood, blood things they talk about, it is true. Blood is needed in everything. Human sacrifice they used to do to perform rituals. Mm. But listen to me. Jesus, we the believers, has used himself mm -hmm. to be crucified, killed, shed his blood. If there is any ritual, God has used Jesus, Jesus for to, that. To Amen. perform it. So to perform to, it. Mm -hmm. That is why we even still don't go to Israel to strata sheep and the rest. So let me tell you, even so-called the Jews, some of them, I will say, are still in question mm -hmm. with their worships. Mm -hmm. If you still say you have to go and send a goat, you have to go and send a cow, you have to go and look for yam and the rest to go into the holy of the holy please that is what jesus has come to perform mm -hmm. according to the book of hebrews chapter 10 yes. his sacrifice once is and once and for all, all. Mm -hmm. and once and for all according to the romans it means the wages of sin that became death, death was paid, paid for. for was paid for mm -hmm. in the body through the blood and Jesus' death yes. is paid for. paid for. And if something is paid for and you okay, receive, gift of blood, yes, mm. it becomes a gift. gift yes. it become, it's a gift. So please, that is where we come into our subject mm. now. These spiritual gifts are not things you need to go and do any mm -hmm. extra before you get it. Before before you you get get it. it. Mm. And yet it works. And look at that of the devil's and the physical one Jesus has given to it. That is why the devil's rapturers are frequent, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. year by year. Yeah. Like that that year. is what used to be in the days of Moses' mm. uh, worship, which was done in the tabernacle. tabernacle. tabernacle yes. Every year, every quarter, there, there, is part, there is particular, there was a particular sacrifice they, they have, have to, to go yes. and perform. Yes. Because it, it, it lives for a while and vanishes and it needs to be renewed and be revisited. Yes. But listen to me. According to Hebrews 10, the new covenant of Jesus Christ, Amen. the perfect one, mm. the empty, which is the New Testament, which has been paid and shed with the blood of Jesus, Jesus. has been done once. That is what we say, perfect worship. Amen. So the book of Hebrews is the is book of betterment. Yeah, betterment, yeah. betterment means that we used to have a service or a worship which was done by the Jew people on behalf of uh, me, celebrating God or appeasing God. But this time, Jesus Christ, who being the Holy Spirit himself, so, yes, that okay. was there from the beginning, mm -hmm. has come to sacrifice once and for, and for all. all. Let's Amen. have this. Yes. Amen. And so Amen. he's killed and shed his blood once, once and for all. You want yeah. to say something yeah, about this? Yeah, because um, when even when Paul started with First Corinthians 12, the first verse, he says, Now, brothers, dear brothers and sisters, regarding your question about the spiritual abilities the spirit gives as I don't want you to misunderstand. Yeah. You know that when you were still pagans, you were led astray mm -hmm. and swept along in worshiping speechless idols. idols. 
So I want you to know that no one speaking by the Spirit of God will curse Jesus. Mm -hmm. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Can you quote again so that those writing it's can know where you are reading? 1 Corinthians chapter, one, uh, chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Good. Yes, that is the introduction that Paul gave. Yeah. And here it comes to what you are saying that we, when we talk about spiritual gifts, we, we, are not, we are not saying, if you deny that there are spirits, there are demons, if you deny it, you, you are harming yourself. Yeah. They are there. Mm -hmm. That is why we have the Holy Spirit and the ability of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit was working all right when these spirits were working along all right. But when it came to a time that the only thing that he, God needs to pacify or God needs so that all this thing will be done away is blood. That was why he came in the human form. Jesus. Jesus. And gave the blood. And he said, the blood is once and for all. Yeah. Amen. So once and for all, he's given us ability, which is, there is no other power and no other strength that can overpass that ability. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. know what, what, why, G, do you know why Jesus said in Acts 1, 8, that go and, and wait. wait. And so that when you wait, my Holy Spirit will come. Mm -hmm. And when he comes upon you and gets into you, then you will be my disciples, starting from Jerusalem. Jerusalem. You will go to Judea. You will go to Samaria. Samaria. And then from there to uttermost part, part of, of the, the world, world, fulfilling the promise that I made to you, mm -hmm. that when you receive the same spirit mm -hmm. I work with, mm -hmm. you will do greater works, works than, than me. I you know why Jesus said that? Mm -hmm. You see, when he was on the cross, listen, listen. When Jesus was on the cross, the Bible says by the time he they, they saw that he is really dead, mm -hmm. Jesus said something. He said, "What it, it is, is finished. finished." And also, and he, he made the word that God, in Thy hands, I commit, I commit my word, spirit. my spirit. Where was God then? Mm -hmm. On the cross, where sin has visited Jesus. God wasn't there. No. He was paying for that, for sin. that sin. So God, Jesus said, that spirit I'm using in thy hands, I, I give to. Mm -hmm. So that Amen. on the cross, the spirit wasn't there anymore. Mm -hmm. It wasn't with Jesus anymore. Mm -hmm. So the spirit has gone back yes, to, God. to its origination. Mm -hmm. that is right. So, so I have to go. Yes. So here. Jesus also have to go. Oh. Yes. Amen. See, Hallelujah. When Jesus have to go, that is why we say Pentecost. Mm -hmm. On the 50th day yes. after resurrection, mm -hmm. that was where the Spirit came. came. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Spirit came and this time as a gift. As a because gift. someone, our Savior, Messiah, our Savior Master, Christ. that is why we call ourselves Christians. That's why he says, Lord. Yes. yes. He has paid. paid. I he want to paid. repeat this. We want to repeat this. We want to make this more and much clearer. Mm -hmm. right. Jesus paid for it. Every, every Otherwise, we would payment. have paid for it. That mm -hmm. is why before Jesus, the worship of the Moses, uh, Solomon's temple, mm -hmm. you have to buy the sheep mm -hmm. before you get the blood. Mm -hmm. They have to sell it for mm -hmm. you. You have to obey all the laws. Oh, but Jesus sure paid, for paid for all everything. this. Amen. Everything. The most perfect blood. Yes. Human blood. The son of God himself. Yes. His blood. blood was paid for. That is why we don't joke with the work on the cross. Mm -hmm. yes. The work on the cross is the conclusion of all works of spiritisms and demonic, demonic according yes. to uh, I mean, uh, according to Ephesians. Mm -hmm. He says it is the head, head of, of all principalities, principalities and powers. And, powers. Amen. and besides him, no any no. other power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So yes, of course, yes. if you want demons, you have to pay for. You have yes. That is why you have to send Excuse Something. me, may God forbid your son. Mm -hmm. If you want worldly powers, you have to pay for Yes. And that it one, it, because it's not perfect every year you or every month, you mm -hmm. have to look for 
Another Betterment. one. If this year you send a woman, next year you need to send a man. Mm -hmm. If next year you send a man, next year you have to send man and woman. Mm -hmm. And next year you have to, they will keep on changing, progressing. My mm -hmm. son was making Bible studies last Monday. Mm -hmm. Our done Bible studies. The family do Bible studies. Mm -hmm. And he was giving a uh, this uh, analogy mm -hmm. of how people look for powers. Mm -hmm. He says it's like a cuckoo or yeah. like a pot. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they never get satisfied. No. Mm -hmm. They get power A this day, they another time. So they look for all yeah, powers advance. putting into the apples. Yes. That is why so they travel, advanced. they mm -hmm. travel, they want anywhere that is bigger than what they have got. They, they have, have to, to get it. a bigger one. Yes. Bigger one. Oh my goodness. But we have Please the God, power that us. the one that passes all. And these uh, ones, because mm -hmm. it's not paid pay for, for, when they go, they pay for uh -huh. it. Someone was telling me, Pastor, this friend, Pastor, is very miserable. And I said, he's miserable in what sense? He said, do you know that he went for some powers somewhere? And the powers, they told him that when he comes, he shouldn't sleep with his own wife. Mm. And that is how the powers will work. So even though he's working like he's working for God, he goes to somewhere to look for another woman to satisfy himself, and he can't go to his own wife. And I said, this is how he's paying for his power. Yes, that's, what, the, what, that's what, the price. What, what, what price do you have to pay to suffer mm. like that after Christ has done everything? everything? This is where we want you to understand. It is a grace. It is free. Okay. It is a gift. It is a promise fulfilled. Amen. The Holy Spirit, we call him promise fulfilled. God has fulfilled his, his promise, promise for yes. us. Okay, let me give you one minute. Talk over it before I take you to the next one. Hallelujah. Amen. So with this one, there is no discrimination. Sure. He said all flesh. And when he said you start from Jerusalem, he said the power is going to every flesh. And when we read Acts chapter 10, Verse 44, mm -hmm. it says, While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who, were, who heard the word. And those, of, and those of the circumcision who believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. So, you know, when Jesus was telling them, go and wait for me, he was telling the Jews. Yeah. His disciples, all of them were Jews. You know, when Jesus came, he never went outside the boundary. He said, yeah. I came for my people. So it was the Jews. But when he said, go and wait for the gift to come, the gift was not only for the Jews, but Another according way, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Holy Spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit. When he said, go and wait for the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not only for the Jews. As Pastor Ma Mary read from Joel chapter 2, it's for all flesh. All flesh. So here, a Roman, uh, an, uh, uh, an uncircumcised, a Gentile, uncircumcised, that is what, yeah. Gentile and his servants and all his family. He said, he invited Peter, he saw if a vision. It has gone on the Cornelius. post only. Cornelius, mm -hmm. we would have said as for him, he is a devout uh -huh. Christian. Christian yes. but, I mean, a devout, a devout man. Uh, man. Yeah. But this time, it went to his Every, household, servant, Every, no discrimination. Uh, no discrimination. No man, woman, children. He said, everyone in the house. Everybody. Some of them that even didn't pray that morning, no, they it. No, no. Everybody in the house. Because Colonius called all and also his friends mm -hmm. outside the mm -hmm. house. So aside his servant, he called his neighbors too. And all those who came to sit and waited for Peter and heard Peter talking about Jesus, he said the Holy Spirit was poor on all of them. Amen. And evidence. And, uh, yes, it's every an day. And they did not pay for it. They did not write, they did not circumcise themselves before receiving it. They did not take it. their children no. to which, uh, No, 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 no. All the children, are, they all. When the Bible says all. Means all. Means all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, no discrimination. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't mean that, it doesn't say that, oh, this person is old. And this one is just a little, just a baby. doesn't, everyone, mm -hmm. every flesh. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ca ca can you add up to this and then we go to the next point, ma'am? Um, I would say that that is the work. Um, he said, 
let it go like he promised. So when Peter was saying it, from Jerusalem, Judea, to Samaria, and to the Atomos, last I was talking about how the Ethiopian Enoch was way somewhere going, and then the Spirit of the Lord carried Philip to join him, to join him, and he received the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and was baptized. And so he says to everybody, the whole world, and when he says on all flesh, on all flesh means it's every human, every person, every tribe and nation and race. Like I said before, it was only on the Israelites, which is one nation, but now he says all nations. So if you go throughout the whole world, and if you are listening to me, the Holy Spirit, that is a gift, is for everybody. You don't leave yourself out. As long as you receive him, he is there for you. That it's a is gift and why, it's free. That is why, listeners, listen, we're talking about the body. The body. Mm -hmm. So everywhere, if it is in China, China can be like, let's say, he's the hand. Mm -hmm. If it is in Europe, Europe can be, let's say, it's Jesus' arm. Mm -hmm. If it is in U.S., U.S. can be like, let's say, Jesus' uh, liver. Mm -hmm. Yeah the hand africa so we are all collectively one body Everybody. so whatever part we are praying mm. is so significant mm -hmm. and that makes us one body that the holy spirit has come into mm -hmm. and we are just praying our various parts yet we are one body Amen. and even in a church we can have different bodies and yet Wow. Different, different parts and yet one, one body. body. Yeah, Let's man. have this. So what makes it one body is the spirit of God, yeah, which man. through Jesus Christ has given. Now, let's see. We saw it with the disciples because, um, what do you call it? Acts 1.8 was, a, was an instruction to the apostles. Mm -hmm. And when they went to the upper room, some of the then disciples, like the Mary's and the some of the women, yes. the followers, mm -hmm. join the apostles. Yeah. And the Bible says they receive All the promise. Them. That yes. means it's not a deception. He promises, he fulfills. Yes. Yeah, that is a point here, which says that he won't deceive you. But then when it came to us, the proof of when the promise was also for us. Mm -hmm. Let's read from Acts 2 4, where the vindication is. It says, and Acts 2, for it says, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them entrance. Yeah. And let's also see Peter's sermon. When, when they were challenging them, Peter was proving to them that it was for... And then Acts um, 2, 42. 2, 42. 42 and 47 also. Yeah. Let, 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 let's read that precept. Yes, I will read for you. From 38, it says, Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of... This is how we get it. Yes. I repeat. It said, Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are afar off, as many as the Lord our God will call. Amen. Amen. Can you read that? Maybe my reading <laughs> needs more explanation. Because I want to let you know that when you come to receive this Jesus mm. and you desire this spirit and you ask for him, he will come and dwell in you. Amen. And it, he passes every power that one needs and will be looking for. Mm -hmm. He is the perfect bar stop power. Hallelujah. When you get him, you Amen. end there. Yes. If there will be anything at all, Hallelujah. it is like you'll be growing in, in him. It, in but him. not for anything new. Mm -hmm. You'll be growing in him. Yes. You see, ladies and gentlemen, Get me very well. We are trying to establish the foundation. Yes. And so from next week, understand. we're going to start to call the gift, the, the spirit. Gifts. How many of them, which of them, will be calling the gifts by their name. Mm -hmm. And let's say when we pick, let's say, the gift of wisdom, 
we will explain with the scriptures what is wisdom as a Holy Spirit mm -hmm. gift. Yes. You understand yes. me? Yes. But we want to first of all establish that the, the, we are still working on the definition, yes. which is the foundation the, the, of the gift of the Spirit. Amen. Yeah, thank you. You, you. you would like to talk a little here, Mary? You said I should read us. Yeah, read what I read because I want them to know it's from the Bible. And you also worth it to receive mm -hmm. him. Amen. It is for you. Yes. Please, all you need to do is to understand it, say it, and receive him. Amen. Amen. It says, then, that's Acts 2, 38 to 39. Then Peter said to them, repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are afar off, as many as the Lord our God will call. Amen. 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 So please, this, please. Now okay. let me explain this, please. Okay. I'm ahead. not taking anything from you, but my passion is so desiring Amen. because I want to help my listeners. Mm -hmm. Now, the how and whatever is in what Pastor Mary read mm -hmm. and what you also read with me. Now, he is saying, now Peter, who was a coward Peter, follower of Jesus, mm. has got such a level of boldness because mm. what has happened? The yeah. endowment of God has come upon him. Mm. And the people themselves were witnessing that, no, 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 we, we knew Peter. Mm -hmm. He used not to be as yeah, eloquent and powerful. He has not schooled. And he has, has not, not even schooled. And he is mm. saying this, and has pricked all of us to come to know Jesus like this, then Peter went ahead to say, no, no, it's not even only me. You haven't seen anything yet. Mm. That is the reason why we are tying these teachings to it, that dispensation changes things. Mm -hmm. And as things changes, it is people that get visitation of the power of God, God yes. that become a dispensation changes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Game changes are people that have received the, the endowment of, of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. So you can be a game changer in your family. Your family can still be in poverty. Everything can go wrong with that family. Yeah. But just yeah. one person yeah. coming to know the truth. truth about what Peter was saying here, you become a game changer to that family. Hallelujah. It can happen to all people and the rest it, it reminds me when we used to play soccer <laughs> those days they, 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 they still believe in these powers and we were going to play one particular match and then they said we should go and call the scene and the first time we went they said no one should bath mm -hmm. and they were all complying and then that one we did that one but the other time, we were going to play gala. So the game was going to continue for about a week. Mm. That means the whole week we are going to play gala. No shower, nothing. And everybody was complying this. And I said to myself, no, I'm going to take my shower. I took my shower. And because I was a good prayer too, they didn't want to ignore me. I prayed the match. And I scored the goal. Hallelujah. And that was where from there, people started doubting. Does this thing work or not? Mm. Or the rest? Mm. You, you understand? We can still believe in God. And one person will bring the game changer. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you the truth. All people can be online. We are doing this all because they are doing it. Just one person having an, the, 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 endowment. the endowment, endowment, the visitation, mm -hmm. the, the boldness. Mm -hmm. Because these disciples, the Bible says, that day, the power of God came upon them. Yes. Right. And especially at a point in time, the Bible says, when they were ministering yeah, they were and they ready. wanted to stop them from ministering, he said they prayed and the spirit of boldness came, came upon, upon them. them. And the place where even they prayed, God what? The, the praise shook. Mm -hmm. The praise shook. Mm -hmm. And they went out preaching Jesus Christ everywhere. What am I talking about? The gift has come upon them. Amen. The gift has increased from just Hallelujah. the beginning, just talking. Mm -hmm. And I've added to them boldness. boldness. That's what I say. You don't need any other spirit, mm -hmm. but you just have to grow in the grace and start to do different levels of things. 
You understand me? Amen. But the other wives, if this is not the real Holy Spirit, and it is the other small, small spirit, you need to go for another, another, another. One will lead you to the other before you realize you have gone so deep and it will cost you. It will destroy your family. It will take away from your very uh, joy. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you the truth. This God through Jesus Amen. has paid for the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and he is a gift to us once and for all. Amen. So when they were looking at Peter as an amazing man, as a superman, Peter said, I used to look at Jesus the same way. Yes. You remember, yes. they went to Jesus, yeah. can you teach us how to pray? pray? Little did they know that it was the Holy Spirit. Yes. And Jesus couldn't do anything. He said, and maybe he was saying in his head, small boys are young. <laughs> you can't do what I will do. But when I do it for you, you remember sometimes the woman went to Jesus and said, Lord, let our children be in one sit at your left and one sit at your right in your kingdom. And Jesus said in his head and said to them, you don't know what you are asking for. You understand me? So maybe when they said, teach us how to pray, though he taught them how to pray, but he said, you can recite this. But the power that will bag this, mm. it, it takes a different level. Yeah, yes. And that level you don't ask for. It's a gift. Yeah. So Peter was referring here. I used to look at Jesus the same way. Maybe Thomas was saying, I was the one who went there to ask him how to teach us how to pray. Mm -hmm. But now, it is no more amazing thing. It's no more any more spiritual dark thing covering, hard to hard get. To get. Mm. All you need is it is for you too. For you you have to believe. Mm -hmm. Accept him. Confess your sin. And when it comes into you, this Peter you see and you are so amused with my performance, mm -hmm. you will even do the same Amen. thing. And remember Jesus said, Amen. we shall even do greater than mm -hmm. he did. Hallelujah. That was referring to when the gift, mm -hmm. the gift, I want to repeat the gift. Yeah. And, Another and, and way and we can say the grace, grace. grace. comes even, upon us. Yeah, even, uh, Ephesians chapter 4, mm -hmm. verse 7 and 8 also talks about, he said, but to each one of us, say the quotation, Ephesians, that 4, are Ephesians 4, 7 and 8, mm -hmm. it says, but to each one of us, grace mm -hmm. was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he says, when he ascended on high, mm -hmm. he led captivity captive mm -hmm. and gave gift to men. Amen. Good. Hallelujah. Amen. So here he says that he did not discriminate. He said when he ascended, it's a gift as pastor has been saying, we've been talking, it's a gift. Mm -hmm. And a gift you don't have to work for it, you don't have to pay for it. It's a free gift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he said he, when he descended, he, when he ascended, he gave gift to all. When he went there, he gave gift to all men. And when in, in art, it says, it always refers that when they heard, mm -hmm. when they heard, when they heard, as Peter was speaking, they received. Yeah. Because they were receiving, they were getting hearing. the information. Hallelujah. Amen. You get the information about Jesus and the, the gospel. Work, the gospel, the yes. The good news. Yes, about Jesus and the work that he has done. Mm. So as you receive it, as you receive that's this information. The gift comes on you. You yeah. receive the gift. Do you gift. know that it is the same way? Those people that goes to juju mm. and goes to voodoo, voodoo and the they rest, hear it, they hear it from a friend. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe let's say those pastors they are saying, let me assume. Mm. It is another pastor that will tell him, what, what are you doing mm, those powers in your church? And then he will tell you, you sit on the small congregation. I went here. I went here. I went here. And then information. So it's the same information, but rather the, that formation is false and evil. Mm -hmm. So it is when you hear the gospel, the which gospel. is God's good information. Good news. We call it good news. Mm -hmm. And the gospel is Jesus Christ himself. Yes. And Jesus even said, the word I speak to you. They are, they are spirit and life. and life. That is talking about the same spirit. Mm -hmm. So when you believe the gospel, which is Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the body, then it comes into you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Pastor Mary, tell me the difference of that 
term of Solomon's temple. Mm -hmm. They go to perform this rapture. And according to Bible, it was covering for a while. Right. So it was working up to some point. Mm -hmm. As versus Jesus is one, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit coming into us, and that which is once and does not need any other uh, alteration mm -hmm. or whatever new formation. Jesus is Holy Spirit does not need modification. You understand me? Yeah. Can you relate the, okay, so, the, the, the difference? Um, God called Moses to go and bring the Israelites and through the wilderness into the promised land. So uh, when he gave them the Ten Commandments, he specifically told Moses how to construct the tabernacle. And that is how they were worshiping, going there to worship every time. And he told them how the animal, that even when he was delivering them from Egypt, he said, Get the, uh, the lamb without defect mm -hmm. and keep it for a while before you kill it for the blood to work. So they were going according to specific instructions, and it's year by year until the time that Solomon built the, that glorious temple. And the Bible says that the day that it was being commissioned, heavens came down mm. because the cloud alone, no priest could stand to even give sacrifice. So the priests that uh, through Aaron's descendants were ushering and going and bringing the sin of the Israelites before God every year. And even the Bible says three times in a year you yeah. go before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so that is the sacrifice that they were doing every time over and over. Killing and sheep, ever. goats. And they are specific. It won't take any defect. It won't work. So as long as you bring it, and every year it was covering because after you do it, the following year you have to go and do it because it wasn't eradicating, it wasn't completely. It was covering it. And you and know so that is what the present rituals and... Mm -hmm. Yes, they yes. They, they've been doing. I don't know much about that, but that is what every year I, I listen to some of them and it says, even when they, are, they come abroad, they do it for them and they come abroad. Every year, do you have to go back to the source and go and sacrifice, or your powers will not work. So they'll go every Renewer. year. Renewal. Renewal of the whatever covenant you have with the spiritual evil world. And so they keep on doing that until Jesus came and died. Hebrew says, if you read chapter 9, like you said, Hebrew is a, a better man book. book. He says that he was the high priest. That entered, let me read Hebrews chapter 9. Now when you read from the verse 12, it says, Not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood he entered the most holy place once for all. Jesus. Having obtained eternal redemption. Mm. So with the goat, with the uh, blood of what? Um, bulls and goats, they were doing it every year. But for Jesus... He didn't use that. He went with his own body. Mm. And he is the high priest. And he said he went into the most holy once mm. and did it for us. And so from there, it is, that is it. When he said it, it is finished. finished. We, can, we don't have to go and sacrifice. This time, if you go to church and you are giving, it's out of what? What he has done. And you are giving thanks, thanks. to the Lord for what he has done for you. You don't have to sacrifice your child. You don't have to send your wife or anything to get powers. He says the script, the gift is given for everybody and it's free because of what Christ's blood yes. has done for us. But with what they were taking, they were taking to please their, 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 their days. Deity. 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 Their days. Mm -hmm. But Jesus' was so powerful that it was done once and for, and, all. For all. and for all. And that is paid for you. Yes. You know what? It was an advance payment for you. It has happened to me before. Mm -hmm. we, were, we remember once we were following a particular car and we were going through the drive through to buy, I hope, from McDonald's or something. Little did we know that the car that was before us was our church member. Mm -hmm. Not knowing when he, he bought uh, his food, and he saw us behind him. Then he paid for us. for us. So when we got there and we made the order, and then we wanted to pay, he said, no, someone has paid. It has happened to the tow boot too. Mm. When we were going once, not knowing the car before us, knew us. So when he paid his 
to then he paid for hours too. So when we got there, we were going to pay. Mm. He said, you, you've been paid, paid for. for. And when we just drove through free, Hallelujah. this is what Jesus did. Amen. So Jesus paid for us in advance. Mm. Whatever we need to receive the Holy Spirit has been paid for. Paid yeah. And what payment did he use? His blood. Hallelujah. His blood. His yeah. spirit was in his blood. Mm -hmm. And so he used his blood to pay for us to receive his Holy Spirit mm -hmm. freely you have received. Yes. Truly. You, you see, oh, that Jesus. is a, the secret of Jesus basing in, Jer in Israel, mm -hmm. all his ministry. You know the temple when Moses, um, Solomon's temple was so, so magnificent and the performance and everything was so huge. But when the Israelites came back from Ezra and they want to build the temple, yeah. Bible says when they started the foundation, those people who saw um, yeah. Solomon's temple, they were crying mm. because it, it, it was nothing closer, near to what Solomon did. So whilst they were sad, but those people who did not see Solomon's temple, they were happy. Yeah. So there was this noise of joy and sadness. Mm. And then the Spirit of God, that's the Holy Spirit, came upon Haggai, the Jesus. prophet, and he spoke. So hey guys, chapter 2, verse 6. He says, For thus says the Lord of hosts, Once more, it is a little while, I will shake heaven and earth, mm. the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and they shall come to the desire of all nations. Mm -hmm. And I will fill this temple with glory, Jesus. says the Lord of hosts. The silver is my and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, mm. says the Lord of hosts. Mm. And in this place, this place, I will give peace, Jesus. says the Lord of hosts. Mm. So where Jesus was uh, at Jesus' time, it was that temple that the Lord was referring to. He says that the glory that is coming, the, the sacrifice that is coming in this era, it will be is better than the sacrifice you that were doing you were with doing with yes, and cows yes, and yes, yes. And this temple, the glory that will come upon this temple that you see it like so tiny, the glory will be greater than the glory that came during yeah. uh, Solomon's yeah. time. And who is the glory? Jesus, Jesus. Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. So in Jesus' time. He made the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Just once. Once we want and for everyone all. Everyone to hear this. Once okay. and for all. Okay. Yeah. I think, Pastor Junior, you want to talk? Junior, go ahead. Your family. We are, we are one. one. We are one. Amen. Amen. Awesome teachings. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Amen. But I wanted, I want, uh, I, I had had a question since Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as I was listening to the word, pondering over the word, you said something about stepping out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The moment you step out of, from the four corners of the wall, yeah. there is an increase in anointing. Yeah. There is an increase in power. Yeah. I want to know the chemistry, the physics, why, the mechanism, why is it that you can be in the church, oh, but yeah. the moment you step out, mm -hmm. something increases Different. about your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even to a point you yourself, you don't know that you could do it. Yeah. For example, let's take um, Billy, um, Billy Him for example. Yeah. Benny Him heals and sometimes is in shock. All he had to do is just take a step of faith. Yeah. I want a word that will, um, a word of God that will help me grab hold onto it yeah. to see why. Why is it that the increase happens when you take a step out there? Okay. Okay. You know, let's take for example. Acts 1 8. He said, and you will receive power. Mm -hmm. And then he narrated, I mean, one after the other, that then you will go from Jerusalem mm -hmm. to Judea mm -hmm. to Samaria mm -hmm. and to the uttermost part of the world. Mm -hmm. right. And just as I said last Sunday, I said, when we are in this room, mm -hmm. all the anointing I need to preach is to come and talk to my 100 or 200 congregation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when time. I'm going to, let's say, and here, I don't no, think Pastor, Pastor Mary will challenge me. Mm -hmm. I don't ourselves. think Pastor Mercy will come and say, no, I want to hear a deeper message. Mm. Yes. So it is a level. 
And don't forget from our previous teachings, we said God said at every challenge, he will lift a standard, a standard. Oh. higher than. Mm -hmm. So I was even citing an example that the preaching I will preach here, because it has no confrontation, it comes at free will. Mm -hmm. But as to go over the walls, and let's say, let's say we are taking us to D.C., for whatever reason. The Bible even teaches that Jesus told his disciples, when they are taking you before kings, you should not think of what you are going to say. And at that instant, I will Holy let the Holy Spirit give you a word to say. That means I will let the Holy Spirit raise a standard against whatever you will be confronted with. So when we go outside, when we go to meet kings out there, when we go into the world, you know, the challenges becomes higher. Oh, yeah. And as much higher as it goes, as we say, the higher you go, the, 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 the uh, hotter it, it, it becomes. becomes. Mm -hmm. your, so, de your demons yeah. increase. Yes. When we meet higher demons, God gives us greater I mean, abilities. Uh, uh, yes. And the endowment becomes higher. And so any church that wants to see higher performance, Please, oh, okay. we are meant to go out. So it's mm -hmm. a set biblical principle. Yeah. It's a biblical it's a, it principle. Is. And it works and it will never fail. You know, there is never a time God will leave us at the expense of any challenges of mm -hmm. demonic, I mean, performance or deals. He will always grace us and make sure we are ready for them and to overcome them. Amen. That is his promise. And he will not fail us. That is why another words. In other words, when they were alone, when the disciples were alone mm -hmm. among themselves, the Holy Spirit was praying among themselves. But when it happened that they have to go out mm -hmm. and meet the cripple at the yeah, beautiful, beautiful gate. gate. It's a silver and gold we have now. In well. the name of Jesus, get up and walk. That was outside their inner mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. And that was where they came to report, hey, today... One miracle we have done, this is the trouble it has brought on us. They say, okay, if we done one miracle and has brought a trouble, they come in to whip us and seize us from calling upon the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Then let's ask for higher, higher uh, abilities, yes. a, a higher endowment, boldness. so that boldness will come and we will go further. The Bible says from that time, further, further. And why did Paul, Paul had richer gifts than the other disciples. Paul took the boldness to go to the Samaria mm -hmm. and uttermost. Mm -hmm. The Jews and the disciples, some of them Jerusalem were just within Judea. Jerusalem. And, but Judea. Paul went the uttermost, mm -hmm. which Jesus said, Arab. Hallelujah. Amen. When you read really Luke chapter 10, verse 17, the mission of the 70. Mm -hmm. Even this one, Jesus hasn't gone. The Holy Spirit hasn't come yet. But they were with Jesus and Jesus sent them. He says, go into her. They were, so he told them the specific. And they said, and 17 says, and the 70 returned again with joy, saying, mm -hmm. Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said to them, I beheld Satan as lightning fell from heaven. Amen. Amen. And he says that, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy. And nothing shall by no means hurt you. Hmm. So this is it. What did he say? He said, go. And they left. But when they, they were went with without Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. even when Jesus, as, when Jesus started his ministry, they were always with them. And they were looking at Jesus doing it. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus sent them. And did they go or not? They, they, were they went. Mm -hmm. And so when they went, they were able to do the wonders. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, power, the thing is obedient to move. Mm -hmm. And the same and thing, when Jesus was alive with them and he took to... field with them, especially the transfiguration, mm -hmm. it was there after they went away from where they used to be mm -hmm. that the the, the ministry of uh, uh, transfiguration was manifested. So the gospel is meant for go ye. Yeah. Go ye. And, and also 1 Corinthians 12, 7. It says, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one of each one for the profit of all. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a weapon. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a weapon that is given to us 
to fight the, our opponent. Yeah. And it's for to profit every all humanity. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's given to the believers so that we wage war against the devil yeah. to deliver. Mm -hmm. So when you set you, you step out there over there where there is a need, that is where you see the performance of the, the gift. Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. He increases, mm -hmm. he comes that's, to your back. Yeah. And that's yeah. the heartbeat of God. I think. Yeah. Yes. That's, that, that is, yes. his, that, that is why, why he that. stepped out from mm -hmm. the, the tree. Mm -hmm. that, that is the reason yes. why God stepped that's out from himself to come onto this earth mm -hmm. in the form of okay. Jesus. Yeah. And therefore, if Jesus is going back, the only thing he left with us is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, so that we continue the same work. And mm -hmm. as much as Jesus knew, is we are going to face this. I mean, wicked and like Paul said in the Ephesians four, mm -hmm. he said, um, "Excuse me, Ephesians 12. He said, "For we are not resting against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, wicked spirits, spirit of darkness, and all this." I mean, if they are lined up and so compacted. How can you face this once if God also doesn't give you a higher and stronger I mean, ability or yes. gift? Yes. That is how it is. Mm -hmm. So as for that, it is automatic. Mm -hmm. If you believe this Jesus and in his name, you step up, special uh, endowment uh, will come over you, you mm -hmm. so that Amen. you will do and do his glory. Wow, wow, wow. For, for example, as Mary, Mary the, son, the mother of Jesus, was just an ordinary lady. Mm -hmm. But as soon as she accepted the responsibility, yes. like, let, it be. let it be. The Bible says he, she became a different woman from that day onwards. Because scary. now the Holy Spirit has come over her. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't ordinary Mary that was set aside for Joseph. She has become a Mary that is res who is becoming responsible to mm. carry the Holy Spirit. Mm. So from that time, <laughs> though she walks, you see Mary walking, but it wasn't her okay. doing things as she used to do. Mm. So any time the responsibility increases, power also Increase. abounds. Mm. Yeah. Amen. So this is Amen. it. This is it. And Amen. so ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for joining us this evening. And God bless you. you. You want to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to add that um, um, it's very important to notice and to remember that this is what the life that we are in. And we are also in a, a spiritual warfare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is why we need spiritual gifts. Because we operate in this. We, we don't wrestle against um, flesh and blood, yeah. but against principalities and um, things in the spirit. That's why when we talk about having being empowered and being endowed with spiritual gifts, you may think that it's all about being powerful so that you can do this in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Like you want the power to be manifested in the flesh, mm -hmm. but you yourself you don't even know your spiritual being. You don't know you're not even a spiritual person or you don't know like you don't even think it's real. Mm. So it's very important to get to know the spiritual realm in the, the sense that God is a spirit. Yeah. And we operate in the spirit. And we, we, we manifest these spiritual gifts in the spirit. Yeah. Like I'm emphasizing on that because people just want power and they want to see their money grow and they want to see people just flock at them just to show off. Mm -hmm. And the thing about spiritual gifts is when people don't operate in the spirit, they may think and they may not like it. Like, for example, Mary, she was, she, the, over, the Holy Spirit overcame her and, and impregnated her. But the thing is, Joseph was going to let her down quietly because he didn't understand the things of the spirit. Yeah. So when people around you don't understand the things of the spirit, you yourself may get discouraged if you are not heightened in your spiritual yeah. self. Right. So you yourself have to be well enough to understand why God gave me this gift. Because if somebody looks at you and then doesn't appreciate the gift that God gave you, you, know you won't be discouraged right. because yeah. you will know yourself and you will know the Holy Spirit who walks with you yeah Amen. and also Amen. you know it for yourself that he is with you for all yes 
that is where he increases and work much more energetically. Yeah, the, God has given us the Holy Spirit for all. And that is why we are saying that coming these days, somebody is going to be an answer to the predicament that the world is going through. Because before any time anything happens, God induces someone and then the person raises to meet the occasion. Right. So this time we are in, in the midst of coronavirus and whatever is going on, so Holy Spirit is at work. And all we need is to desire and grab him. And we can raise to the occasion and do equal mighty things Jesus did even in his days. It is for us, and we can do it. Seas going after the small, 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 small spirits, which keeps on demanding, 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 and yet ends you somewhere and does not give you the help you're looking for. The Holy Spirit is what we're talking about, the gifts of the Spirit. Amen. And the gifts of the Spirit, next week we're going to now start. What are the gifts? Are the How gifts? many of them? Which and which and what and what? And then we will be explaining them mm -hmm. so that even when they are manifesting, you can tell. Mm -hmm. This also will help us to separate the shaft from the gray. Yes. You know, these days many things are going on out there. And even it's giving the world an edge to think as if God we preach about is not matching the spiritual world they knew. But let me tell you, he is the head. The of, head all of all spirits. Yes. And if I were to be you, I would go to the head than going to the things that are Around. under, 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 under. No, no, Amen. no, no. We need to get higher, higher, higher. Amen. God bless you so much. And we want to thank you for tuning in tonight to study with us. Next week will be so interesting. And coming here and know the gifts of the spirit. Hallelujah. Today, as I said, was just the introduction. introduction to make us sure that we know where it is from and for who and those it are he has worked with before. Next week, we will deal with the gift itself. The gift itself. I mean, himself. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I will once again say thank you. Thank you. And Amen. we will be with you next week the same time. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for giving us your son and these teachings we've gone through. May you even be with us forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. God Amen. bless you. Bless you too.